Now that you've seen the launch of the Galaxy S24 series, you might be saying to yourself, wow, the Galaxy S24 Ultra looks a lot like the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and that phone looked a lot like the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Well, you are right, but there are some distinct differences between the three phones, and in this video, I'm gonna go over all of them. I am going to admit that these three phones look incredibly similar at first glance. When we first put all three phones down next to each other, face down, we had a hard time telling them apart. However, when you flip the phones over, it's very easy to tell the Galaxy S24 Ultra apart because of the three phones, it is the only one with a flat display. If you'll remember, the Galaxy S22 Ultra had very curvy sides. The Galaxy S23 Ultra dialed back the curves a little bit, but was still distinctly a curved display phone. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, though, gets rid of the curves altogether. Now you have a fully flat display from side to side and top to bottom. In my opinion, it's a good thing. I'm not very fond of curved display phones, especially when using gesture navigation. Sliding in from the side of the phone on a curved display just doesn't feel as good or natural as doing so on a flat display. Because this phone has a flat display, you can now distinctly see the side bezels, which on the previous two models wasn't as easy because that curved display hid them. However, Samsung should be lauded here because the bezels around the phone are very uniform, which gives it a very classy look. One subtle difference you'll find in these phones is the S Pen's top, which is what you see when you slot the S Pen into the phone. On the Galaxy S22 Ultra, you have an oval-shaped S Pen with a domed top. And on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, you have a rectangular-shaped S Pen with a domed top. On the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you have the same rectangular shape as we saw on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but the dome top is reduced significantly. This is really interesting as it lets the phone stand up straight when you put it down flat on the table, which is a little tricky to do with the other two phones. Another subtle difference that you may not have noticed at first glance is the Galaxy S24 Ultra's rails, which are made of titanium this year, have a matte finish. This gives it a distinct look when compared to the rails of the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Galaxy S22 Ultra, both of which had chrome rails. So they were shiny when you looked at them and they're very smooth to the touch, almost like glass. Whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra's rails don't have that shine and when you grip the phone, it feels a little bit tighter in your hand than maybe the other two would. Taking a look at the corners of the phone, the S22 Ultra had very curvy corners. The S23 Ultra made them a little bit more square and the S24 Ultra is the most squared off of the three. This, once again, comes down to personal preference, but for me, I prefer the squared off sides. When it comes to the physical differences between these three phones, that's about it. Obviously, the dimensions are a little different, the thickness is a little different, and the weight is a little different, but we're talking very, very minute differences. Once again, when you put these three phones down on a table, you can't really tell the difference between them if you're just looking. Of course, inside the phones, you're gonna have a very different story. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to feature the latest and greatest Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And as a side note, that is worldwide. No matter where you live, if you buy a Galaxy S24 Ultra, you're gonna get that powerful chipset and not the Samsung Exynos 2400, which you're gonna find in some other Galaxy S24 models, depending on where you live. The Galaxy S24 Ultra also starts with 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is very different from the previous two models, which had models that started at eight gig. You're also going to have a floor of 256 gigabytes of internal storage, which once again, the previous two models did not have because they had models with 128 gigs. You're also gonna get up to one terabyte of storage if you wanna spend a lot of money on it. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to feature a slightly different camera setup as well. You're still gonna have a 200 megapixel primary lens, but the most distinct difference is going to be with the telephoto. You get an upgrade to 50 megapixels for the telephoto, which is good, but you're only getting 5X of zoom. Now, Samsung is going to give you 10X of zoom, at least that's what it's going to try and sell, but it's using software and AI trickery to do the rest of the zoom after 5X. So be careful. You might see better zoom from the previous models than you do on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We won't know this for certain until we put it through our testing though. One of the most notable differences between the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the other two models though is going to be the price. The starting price for the Galaxy S24 Ultra here in the United States is $1,299, which is $100 more than the starting prices for the previous two phones. 
And considering those two phones are a lot older right now, you can get those for a lot less than the original starting price for those phones. That means that the Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to be reserved for the people who have a lot of money to spend on their new phone. And the Galaxy S23 Ultra and 22 Ultra are gonna be for the more frugal among us. Even taking everything I've said so far into account, the number one difference between the Galaxy S24 Ultra and all the other Ultras that came before it is Galaxy AI. Galaxy AI is what Samsung is using to refer to all the AI capabilities you'll find in the Galaxy S24 family. Some of these features come from Samsung directly, and some of the features come from partners, most notably Google. You're gonna find a whole bunch of AI tools built into the phone, including a system that's very much like the Pixel's Magic Editor, which allows you to remove objects from the photo and then use AI to generate new imagery that appears in its place. You're also gonna have a live translation system that lives in the phone app, allowing you to communicate with someone in a different language over the phone and be able to understand what they're saying. The best part about that one is, is that the other person doesn't need to be using a Samsung phone. They could be using any type of phone and it's still gonna work for you and them. It's very interesting stuff. We have a whole video going over all the AI capabilities of the Galaxy S24 series, so be sure to check that out. Also, don't forget that we have a full video going over the color differences between the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the other two models in the line. So if you wanna know everything about the Galaxy S24 series, be sure to stay right here at the Android Authority YouTube channel.